This is ABTV, Animal Bites Television. No matter what school of thought you follow regarding animal rights, animal ethics, and animal welfare, it can't be argued that the relationship between humans and non-humans is a complicated one. Is it morally okay to use animals to benefit humans? This is a question that I could discuss for hours, but instead what I'm going to do is just show you the five weirdest examples of ways that humans use animals and I'll let you decide on your own if you think they are morally acceptable or not. My name is Jason Miller and you're watching 5 Weird Animal Facts. Number 1. Narwhal Climatologists In 2007, researchers measuring seasonal water temperatures in Baffin Bay, Greenland ran into a bit of a snag. The weather conditions during winter were too inhospitable for the research team to safely operate their equipment, so they decided to call in help from an outside source that has a bit more experience in icy water, the narwhal. The team attached thermometers with satellite transmitters to 14 narwhals and tracked their movements throughout the winter. The data that the narwhals gathered ended up supporting evidence of global warming affecting polar sea temperatures. It says something when a group of narwhals can agree that climate change exists, but our politicians still can't. Number 2. Bat Bombs The year is 1941, and a dentist in Pennsylvania named Lytle S. Adams just hears news on the radio of the Japanese attacking Pearl Harbor. A month later, he sends a letter to the White House with plans detailing a way to retaliate. He suggested that bats could be strapped with small incendiary bombs and then released into Japanese cities. The bats would then fly into nooks and crannies within the city and detonate. Like. Duh, why had nobody thought of this before? Instead of doing the rational thing and throwing the letter in the garbage, the National Research Defense Committee spent millions of dollars in an attempt to make kamikaze bats a legitimate weapon of the US military. And here's what they came up with. I know that I said I keep my personal opinions out of this video, but really? After 30 failed demonstrations, the project was scrapped. Can't imagine why. Number 3. Bomb Sniffing Rats since their civil war ended in the early 1990s, Mozambique has had one of the most severe landmine problems in the world. The years of conflict resulted in thousands of landmines left undetonated. But as of this past Thursday, September 17th, the country is completely landmine free. And this is who we have to thank, the Gambian Pouch Rat. An organization called Apopo has been using trained rats to detect landmines in Mozambique since 2007 and have found a total of 13,274 mines. That's 13,274 lives that may have been saved by these incredible creatures. A single rat can search an area of 200 meters squared in just 20 minutes. It would take a human demining expert up to four days to complete that same task. I wish I had a Gambian pouched rat. Daisy, you don't do shit. Number four, marine mammal military. When you think about the US Navy, you probably picture these guys. But as we learn from the Gambian pouched rat, humans aren't always the most effective option. That's where these little beauties come in. Bottlenose dolphins and California sea lions are routinely used by the United States Navy to detect mines and other underwater threats as well as assist in search and rescue missions. 90 dolphins and 50 sea lions have been trained and deployed from San Diego Bay. Since dolphins have built-in sonar, they're incredibly effective at finding underwater mines. The sea lions use their keen eyesight to spot mines as well, but more impressively, they can find a person swimming in government-restricted areas, attach a tether to their leg, and tow them back to their trainers. These animals were even used in search and rescue missions during the Challenger explosion in Hurricane Katrina. Finally, number 5. Snake massages. Yeah, we're gonna go from dolphins saving lives to snakes giving massages. Seamless transition. An Israeli health and beauty spa charges $70 to allow six snakes to crawl on aching muscles. The spa uses king snakes, corn snakes, and milk snakes, and apparently once people get over their initial squeamishness about having snakes on them, it's a very therapeutic experience. So I've been feeling tension like right, right around here. A little bit to the left. No, left. No. My animals are useless. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments down below what animals and topics you want to see in future episodes. Follow me on all my social media using this box thing. And make sure to subscribe to Animal Bites TV for more awesome animal things and stuff. As always, my name is Jason Miller, and I'll see you next Monday on 5 Weird Animal Facts. My name is Brian Barczyk. I've been working with exotic animals for over 25 years. I'm no zoologist, just a guy with a passion for animals. And that passion often takes me on animal adventures around the world. This is ABTV.